okay, we got we actually got a pretty solid start here. Let's get the broom on sale. Let's get the shiny shell. Let's get the wooden buckler. Um, might as well get ourselves around one spike shield as well, because that's just something we should probably do. Getting both of these next round, and this can't go anywhere, so we'll just rock with this. Not too shabby. This usually wins like you know the first few rounds, maybe like the first, not even a few, really just the first. Hopefully, I can win this one. Oh. Maybe not. They do got a wet. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> they do got a whetstone in there. You know, that's a thing. Um, let's get both of these and roll for space, which I did. I wish I would have bought you next last round. Um, damn, I did. Okay, well, mm, I'm actually going to do this. Actually, we're going to get a torch. I didn't think about that until I saw it. But yeah, we're going to get a torch. And honestly speaking, I could. I wonder. Usually, I just like to get the broom just to rock double broom. But for the sake of money, and for the sake of I don't know, I'm just gonna rock the broom and a torch and see if that can uh, see if that can actually work or not. Hopefully, Spike Shield can come and clutch in these last few rounds here, or last few seconds actually, which I believe yeah, it definitely did, definitely did, especially since we were out of stamina right there. Definitely did. You keep teasing me with a freaking shield that's on sale. Um, give me this roll. Okay, another banana, some more space. I will be taking both of those. I wonder if it's better for me to do this. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's better, but I'll take it. I'll definitely be taking that. What do we got here? That's a lot of healing herbs. You are definitely going to go for a hungry blade whenever you see a hungry blade. But on the bright side, I got a spike shield and you don't have stamina and I have spikes. So more than likely that won't be that because you definitely out healed me. Give me both of these roll more space. I like oh, I, 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 I love it. I love all the space that I'm getting right now. Um, that's probably better for the sake of activators, realistically. And then I'll just do something like this. Probably the better, the better, better, right? I, I kind of do want to get this garlic. I'm gonna get the garlic. I'm get the garlic. Garlic over flying garlic, or flying garlic over garlic. I don't know, but. We did it anyways. Um, okay, spell totem. I see you. I see you. It's instances like this where I like to have double broom for the sake of just stacking on a bunch of blind for freaking this guy <laughs> because it's doing a lot of damage to us right now. And then that activates and then we lose. Yeah, unfortunate. That's okay though. Good game. And that should be all of the bananas I need. So that's really good. So now we're really just fishing for shiny shells, hungry blades, fanny packs is good. Um, we could put this over here and just do something like that. I need you. I could sell this flying R. Like I really don't need it. Um, you sell for two. That'd give me four. I was thinking about getting the fanny pack. It might not be bad, but I also want to get this shiny shell for the additional healing on that guy which i think is the better play so let's do that and yeah and then we'll just sell this get both of those next round probably gonna sell the broom as well and we're just replace it with that hungry blade i think that'd be a little bit better double freaking leather armor bro really wow big wow actually this is gonna last forever i think i think i have better healing i think no Yes, no. Okay, barely. I don't know. I actually don't know. That was super close. Um, give me both of those selling you rolling for more space. Not a bad, not a bad play. And then we'll do a little situation like so. I guess that can go over here now. Um, and then we'll just do this. Right, that'll, that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. It looks weird, but I think it'll work. <laughs> Got a lot of healing right now. Now I need to turn this into a torch. So I need blueberries and a health potion. Did I pass up any health potions? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen any. Pretty sure I didn't pass up any health potions, but if I did, I'm sad. But yeah, that's pretty much what we need. Um, looks like we're gonna, it's probably just gonna come down to poison here, which thankfully only thing they have is a shovel, which is good for us. And we, we're definitely, yeah, good game. Good game. Oh, man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give me all three of those. Blueberry? 
I, I'll take a mana orb. Can I get lucky and get a blueberry? Oh, I actually got lucky, got a blueberry. Yeah, we're selling you. Yes, okay. That is so freaking good. Give me this. That is so freaking good. And then I can get I can get the uh I can get the mana torch and a mana thirst in the exact same round. And if we win this, it'll be even better. But I mean that is a bone arrow with a tusky poker and a hero sword. Our healing is there. But their damage is there. Can I win? Let's go. Okay. We really needed that W. Really needed that W. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Fancing fencing rapier on sale. I do like rocking this when I don't already have the prismatic sword and I don't know when that thing's gonna be popping up. So with that being said, we're definitely gonna be rocking that next round. Um, This round we can move this up here. Magic torch situation there. And then mana orb situation here. And that'll just work. Yeah, that'll just work. That'll just work. Unless we find a prismatic order this round. That'd be great. It's a good thing we found a fencing fancy rapier on sale though. They they do have mana generation. It's not that much mana generation though, and our healing is way better. But they have infinite DPS scaling, and we kind of just don't. Berserker mode is gonna go crazy too. We'll see how this goes. If we can just out heal their DPS, we should be fine. Which is exactly what we're able to do. Which is beautiful. Good game. Ding. I do want to get that Whopper Tinger, but this is more important. So let's pick you up. Let's also get some space while we're at it. And all that can just go like that. So boom, we got triple bananas for stamina. We got this for just DPS. I'm going to switch these two over. Um, I'll find another Whopper Tinger. I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, all I need is three shiny shells. Realistically, I don't even need a fourth one, I don't think. But they're so cheap. Like... I feel like I might as well just get it because of how cheap they are. Interesting. Okay, what do you? I, I'm surprised you didn't go for a molten sphere unless you're trying to go for a glowing crown. Glowing crown could be kind of interesting, but uh, I, you know, pyromancer with a spear, you would think molten spear. Very interesting. That he just didn't go. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, so let's uh, selling you to buy that and to also get both of those. Um. Should we just go ahead and get a Whopper Singer? I'm gonna just go ahead and get a Whopper Singer, I think. And then we can switch this back. That goes there. This goes there. Um, this needs to go somewhere. I guess it can go there. Yeah, that'll work. And then uh, one, two, three, four. All right. Just making sure everything looks good. I think I'd rather have it here. Yeah. Just because, like... Actually, maybe not. We were looking at that healing. So it's okay. So it's holy items that heal, which if I did that, that's a 20% in healing. This is just a 10% in healing. Realistically, this is better. Even though it's not, they're not inside their star slots. This is in fact, the better play. So we're just going to do this. I think, um, should I buy that amulet? Nah, if it was an amulet on sale, I would have definitely bought it, but no, 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 no. Ooh, I haven't seen this one in a while. Falcon Blade on the anvil, what an OG. All you're missing is a magic torch, but instead you went with double shell totems. This is interesting. It doesn't seem like that's, uh, that's the move anymore, though. Good game, good game. Ding, oh, no fucking way. Did that really just happen? I didn't see that. Oh my god. Oh, that is so bad. That is so freaking bad. Um, I got a W key for a wooden sword. As much as I don't want to, okay. As much as I don't want to, I have to W key for a wooden sword, bro. That was so bad. Okay, we lost the shell, but it's okay. We we completely lost a round and completely lost a shell, but it's okay because we only need three shells. But bro, that sucked. I can't believe I didn't catch that. I was over here yapping too much. 
yapping too much. That's fine though. That's fine. Especially if we win this round, that just has so much to say about this build. But we are going against Excalibur, so with a <laughs> Excalibur with a Cauldron here, um, we both heal a lot. So you know that's a thing. On the bright side, uh, they got spikes and we don't. And we still win. Awesome. That says something about this build, I think. So Bing got our prismatic sword. Getting this orb is amazing. Getting the stamina sack. Damn, looking at that, looking at that guy. Loki do want that guy. Um, let's see here. So we need holy items. As many holy items as possible, I think. Okay, what are we looking at? Honestly, it's the vampiric. For this guy's the vampiric items. For this guy's the holy items. Holy items increase your healing here, but holy items increase your damage here. We're looking at that lifesteal. We don't really have that many vamp items, right? Except for this guy. And uh, I don't know what the... Oh, this also cancels vamp. But this guy would be the holy items. So I'm thinking I'll just move that there just to get that extra 5% increase in healing. Because our damage, you know... That one loss in damage isn't like the end of the world, right? So... I think I'm okay with just sacrificing that one little thing of damage, in my opinion. I'm also not gonna get that, actually. I think it's better for me to try to get some blood amulets, try to get another prismatic orb, and try to get a heart container. I think that is the wave. And possibly more bananas, just for the stamina. Oh, we need a rabbit. Oh, whoa, we just took a lot of damage. Jeez! I wasn't expecting to die that fast. Okay, got our blood amulet. We definitely need a rabbit though. Um, okay, so bland amulet is gonna go there. That's even more amplified healing. Um even more life steal as well, which is great. And you know what? Thinking about moving this back over here. Maybe not. No, 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 no. Maybe not, yeah. I'm just gonna keep it like this. I think this is okay. Oh, uh, interesting build. Tuscan poker is scary. A little shell totem action. Interesting build, actually. But, uh, I think we win. Yeah, we definitely win. Yeah, all these buffs, bro. I definitely need a, I definitely need a bunny. 100%, give me a bunny, please. I don't want any of that. Ooh. This is solid to make this faster. I'll take it. I don't really need this spike shield anymore, so I'm gonna sell it and get this. Just so I can keep rolling for more items and probably should put this inside of some, uh, some fannies while I'm at it, right? Um, I guess I could do this. This kind of works. Go, go, go in there. Thank you. And then, how do we have this? Boom, 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 boom. And then for this guy, this needs to get up to 40. Which I don't think is going to happen. Unless I did 36. Uh, we're missing out though. We're not healing, so I don't think that's better. Yeah, I don't think that's better at all. Just because we're missing out on that extra healing, which we definitely need. Um, honestly, I'm just going to switch that there cause, just because this guy is taking up space anyways. So we're going to switch that to there. And I don't really need another shiny shell. So I'm just not going to get it. Well, you know what? I don't need this other garlic. I think I'd rather just have all these bananas for the sake of healing. I'm not healing, but for the sake of stamina. Four bananas should be enough stamina, right? Especially if I can beat this Excalibur. Oh, he's at 40. Wait. So it's going to make his Deerwood Guardian faster during Battle Rage. And he's got two spike collars. I wish I had me a bunny, bro. With all these buffs I'm getting. We might actually get an orb proc. Now nah, we're not going to survive. We lost. For sure. No! 
I gotta buy an also sale. Um, why not? I'll buy it. Why not? Why not? Dang, give me some items I need. Okay, we need that heart. Actually, the only thing I need though. The freaking heart, bro. Kind of seven gold. Damn, and we also need to fill this up. I need more uh, blood amulets. We're just items to fill this up with. How much gold are we getting next round? 15. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Okay. Honestly, you should have probably moved something over here just to get that chance to resist a crit. That would have helped with that 62 and 48 and 58 and 74 and 76. Stop doing that. At least I heal it right back. I would have been dead by now if I didn't heal that right back. I should have been dead. Jesus, you got destroyed, bro. Good game, though. Give me this. Oh, yeah. Give me that, too. Oh, yeah. Give me that, too. All right. So this is going there. That's another holy item. Um, At least that helps right there. This will help, too. Whenever I get a chance to actually put it there. That, that should help a lot. Uh, and, um... I guess we'll just uh, keep this like that. Getting that next round for even more healing. Whoa. What is this, infinite heat? Definitely infinite heat and then utilizing those guys for the empowerment for your dragon. Oh my gosh. What's a build? I've never seen a build like this before. Using the toads for the clovers. And then using the shell totems just for empowerment. Wow, what a build. That is that is what you call a good build. That is that's actually pretty solid. I'm taking this. All right, I'm taking this. All right, we're taking that. That is mine now. And I will use that one day. Nice build. <laughs> Really good build. All right, let's get this. 26. Should I buy this unidentified? Oh, and again, I gotta give myself an upgrade here. Just need one more thing in there that's worth five freaking gold. Actually, I just realized something. I have a whole nother slot right there I could use. Why don't I get that for a stone helmet, I think? What can I put there? It's worth five gold. This. <laughs> Oh, wait. Yes, that works. Also, there we go. So now it's at 40. That's faster. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy, including this guy who's got Jerry. It's a bag of stones Phoenix build. Pretty interesting. Uh oh. Now nah, we're doing good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He's got a lot of healing, though. So do we, but... Oh, my God. Okay. Our healing? Insane. I was not expecting that. And we got another orb. Oh, that just makes everything so much better. And we got another one of this. Can I buy that? Nah. I don't get enough gold to buy that. Damn. But we did get another orb. Which just makes things so much better. Okay, so... Can I buy this? There's no way I can get seven gold right now. Unless I sell the stone helmet. Man, or I could sell space. Anyways, this is how the build works. Basically, you got the prismatic sword, right? With 444, four, four, which is you're surviving a shit ton because of the life speed, attack speed, and then the damage increase. Mana Thirst is here for the mana generation. Uh, Magic Torch is here just because it's good in the mid game and it increases the DPS of the, of the Prismatic Sword. Prismatic Sword increases its own DPS. It has 60% life steal and it is 32% faster. This thing makes it even faster by 20%, so it's 62% faster. And then you get a bunch of extra life steal from this guy, which is what, 40% plus the 25? So you get a 65% uh, life steal. Right, and then you have your 25% amplified healing, and then you get life still from this guy. And then not to mention the prismatic orbs, that is five holy items inside of that guy, which I believe I can increase it by one more holy item, but that is five holy items for a 
increase in healing. And then this guy is two for a 10%. So that's a 35%. So basically it's a shit ton of healing. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a lot of healing. Okay. It's a lot of healing and I can increase this just by doing that for, for a six over there. But yeah, it's a lot of healing. But then again, I am missing a star slot for even more damage. So I don't know which, uh, you know, I don't know which one would be better. I wonder, I could sell space. So I could sell this for two gold. Um, I could put that over there. Maybe. Because <laughs> this is going to have to go like this. I guess it's worth a try. All I could do is try. So I'd sell that. Might have to sell a banana. Potentially. I just want to get another freaking blood amulet right there. That's all I'm trying to do. But I think I can do it. Um, I don't want to sell a banana though. If I sell this four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell a banana. I won't have space for it anyways. Seven, eight, nine. Boom. So boom, we got triple blood amulets, lock turner, lock lifter, mana thirst. Oh yeah, mana thirst is also good because of another uh, the diamond slots. Super duper prismatic sword, forty percent on that guy to make this twenty percent faster. And not to mention this is twenty percent faster. This also increases your healing as well. And we got triple bananas for just the stamina usage. Whoa. Okay, this is going to be a testament of this build. I think we lose because this build itself is insane. If you guys don't know how this guy's build works, basically his main DPS or part of it, or almost a lot of it, is pretty much coming from the empowerment, which increases the DPS of Forging Hammer. And obviously you got the Chorus Puppies increasing their DPS. And then you also got Stone Golem. But the biggest thing is having this at 40 because all of these are, well, not all of them, but you know, the golly weapons or the golly items there, boom. This increases the 20% uh, faster for golly items. Not to mention you got the wolf emblem here. Like he's got so many, like he's got a pretty damn good build. He's got a damn good build. Really good build. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens here. I am scared, but on the bright side, we do have a lot of healing. He's not removing our buffs. So we're going to keep our vampirism and everything like that. Might even be able to get a man at the man at war proc. Maybe potentially possibly the only thing that I wish I could have right now is a rabbit because we've got a lot of buffs that can help us out with our uh, with our our stamina because we're now we're stamina locked, right? But we just took so much damage. We're taking a lot of every time the chorus puppies hit us. We're taking like 60 damage and criticals, but we get to heal it right back. Look at that healing. Look at that healing. Now he's in berserker mode, though. So this is about to get wild. Who took off half our health. 100 damage, 100 damage crits, and we still win. <coughs> my, my throat. And we still win. 100 damage crits. 100, like, like, 100, like, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weapons doing 100 damage crits on us, and we still win. Because our healing is that insane. 1,000 healing from vampirism. 800 from the Lock Turner Lock Lifter. 400 from the Prismatic Sword. And everything else doesn't matter. Right? Everything else doesn't matter. This would be... Imagine I had two... I, I'm thinking about this. Two Prismatic Swords would be insane. Instead of a Mana Thirst. But then again, Mana Generation, I guess. Use the Mana Ore for that. It'd be hard to get two Prismatic Swords, though. That would be interesting. Huh. I might try that. But yeah. Boom. And then for our damage, Prismatic Sword pretty much did a decent majority of the damage. But yeah, insane build. Look at all that damage they did to us, bro. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of damage. And all we had to do was heal it right back and keep on dealing that damage to him. Sheesh. What a freaking game, though. That was a good game. That was a good game, and this is a really cool build. I like this build. Man, that was a good game. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.